What's up everybody, it's your boy JD back again with another video. You guys know what time it is. It's time to hop back in that hardcore leveling warrior. So, about to go ahead and get into it, see what's in store for us today. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Want to take support any further? Patreon link is in the description below. Also, join our Talking Game membership and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video or go live on each channel. So, let's go ahead and get into it, man. I forgot we were whooping his ass for a second. Yeah, it's over for you. It worked. Clean strike. Using the timing against him did the trick. I knew it. He failed to anticipate my real prowess. This is annoying. There goes my plan to clear the game without dying once. Without dying once? Does that mean he has an extra life? Oh, that's, that's lame. You gave him an extra life? He had a life going? Boo. 13. That man got 13 lives, bro. That is. <laughs> that is so late. Holy moly. I just lost one of my lives. Uh, how do you like my personal trait? Continue. He like, that's so fucking annoying. <laughs> this neat ability allows me to accumulate lives by spending points I obtained through my playthrough. It's a rather common feature in games. The number in the window behind him must indicate how many lives he has. He can come back to life 12 more times then. While my ability may sound OP, it really isn't if you think about it. Any amazing power comes with annoying restrictions that follow. The points that I need to spend cannot be accumulated by normal means. I acquire one point per human soul slain, and each life costs 1,000 points that I earn this way. Damn. So, uh, to get an extra life is 1,000. He get one point per human he kills. So, 1,000 human, 1,000 people he killed he kills, he gets one life. That's that's insane. <laughs> Meaning, I get a new life with every thousand humans I kill. What? You gotta be kidding me. Did you really murder all those people to get that many lives? It wasn't easy. In most arcade games, you need to collect 100 coins to get a new life. But in my case, it's 10 times that. Don't you dare speak of such things casually like that, you crazy psychopath. What does human life mean to you? Mere tools? What? Really? Are you seriously judging me for farming human souls like items? He like, I can't believe you really judging me, my boy. You're upset because of that? Why does that matter? There is only one protagonist in the story anyways. This little. Don't look at me like that. I know you also think you're the main character of the storyline too. You probably noticed that you and I are alike. I mean, look at all those items and the stats you worked so hard to acquire. You defeated and trampled on the lives of other people to get there as well, didn't you? Alright, I sacrificed a few human souls to utilize my ability. But I'm the only heinous murderer while you're innocent? Come on. Definitely. You definitely deserve some ass whooping. He like, yeah, you're going to have to try harder now. I ain't gonna, I know what to expect. Your items don't look only fancy. Oh, your items don't only look fancy. They're actually master tier. I've never been slicing dice to death like that before. Let me ask you something. Why do you play games? That's a very philosophical question. It is to win and be assured that I am the best there is. Prove that there is no one in this entire world that's better than me by clearing the game quicker than any other gamer in the speed that they can only dream of. Winning is what makes games fun. Alright, winning is good and all. I enjoy victory too. But what about afterwards? After beating the game, I'll move on to the next game, you idiot. There is no such thing as the next game after this. The thousands of people you murdered. They do not have any second chances. This was the last game ever for them. 
Let's say you rise to the top, defeating and killing everyone in the way. There will be nobody left to praise you as the best gamer. So what? Do you expect me to say something like, I would never do it again? That wouldn't be too bad. But I know you won't. Of course not. So, you get the ass whooping you deserve. You had 13 lives, right? Imagine this because it takes too long to kill you 13 times. Is it possible to reverse the process and bring your victims back instead? No, I already burned all of their bodies to make them look like war victims. Unless you want me to bring them back in skeletal bodies. Never mind. You died once before. Today, you will die 13 times. Talk your shit, Ethan. Talk your shit, Ethan. That again? It's an amazing skill. I'll give you that. Looks like it ignores any form of resistance, but you used it one too many times. It's so blatantly obvious now. I can read your pattern. If you really counterattack before I can activate Lacerate? It doesn't matter if the attack is a god tier one, if I can prevent its activation. And my speed stat is far superior to yours, so I can easily do just that as long as I know when you're going to use it. And while your god tier skill is amazing, I have a god tier item of my own to counter that. Activate an item, the Eye of the Sage. Of course. Of course, he gets the Eye of the Sage. Lovely. This item analyzes and offers a solution to problems the player sees. Forces activation of plus cognitive enhancement, multitasking, an analyst, and seven more. Of course, why not? It induces an illusionary perception of the time slowing down while these 10 sage skills are active. An implantable accessory eye of the sage is one of god tier items created from out of place artifacts spread across the world. This allows the wearer to analyze an any event through knowledge, foresight, insight, imagination, combination, and simulation. So he has, so he has like a Sharingan mixed with a goddamn Byakugan. Roger that. Alrighty. <laughs> That man has processed 9,781 possible scenarios. Probability of enemy having magic neg yeah, negation skill 90%. Enemy has enemy has a way to drastically amplify stats. Item is not god tier and thus can be destroyed by god tier items. With this item, it was possible to counter the skill that could even slay the gods. Who gave him this? <laughs> Who gave this man these skills, bro? Who the hell say, you know what, this will be a good idea to make these skills. Who who gave this man these skills? I'm talking about in, in, the, in the series. I, we know the author gave him the skills, but you, you get what I'm, you get what I'm trying to say. An unidentified magic spell was detected. Auto cancel did not activate due to higher tier of the attack skill. You are being assessed by a higher tier something. Auto cancel was canceled? That wasn't a possibility in Lucid Adventure. It's said with the use of god tier items anyways. So that guy has a god tier item in addition to those outrageously OP stats. That is kind of, it is a little, little, little broken. Just a little broken. It can be pieced together with duct tape, but it's still a little broken. <clears throat> it's still a little broken. I suppose I have no other choice. Activating skill, lucky coin. You gonna need a lot of them. I hope you about to pop all of them up. Lucky coin activated. We gonna need every bit of this. 13 times? We gonna need it. Wait, okay, hold on. <clears throat> 999%? Oh, check that out. He really did amplify his stats to my level. It will be difficult with just the eye. I really did not expect to use the Holy Spirit. And he got a Holy Spirit? Bro. Bro. Another out of place artifact. Holy Spirit was the one that had pierced the side of the Messiah. Although it looked like an unremarkable old relic, the spirit boasts an incredible base stats. Putting the item's hardcore level of warrior endeavored throughout his gameplay to collect to absolute shame. It was a clash of the titans. 
in this intense encounter between two champions with transcendent stat points. There was no room for complacency. They exchanged blow after blow in a fraction of the second as super, like superhuman beings. I mean, technically they are. With each attack empowered by multiple skills, counter by counter attacks, counter yet again. It was an epic fight between the heavyweights. However, there was one individual that felt the battle was being slowly but surely decided. So, that's the top player of the new universe. He's slightly gaining the advantage. Arkham Love Boy will be defeated at this rate. And we thought Ethan was broken. <laughs> they were like, nah, we're going to put somebody more broken in here for a quick second. For a quick second, we're going to put somebody more broken than Ethan. That's an outrageous swing of the spear. I only barely paired it off with this. Oh, with Cutie. Wait, what? My Cutie? <laughs> the indestructible sword? He like, how can you be an indestructible sword and you get destroyed? <laughs> it makes no sense. It was just destroyed? He like, fuck. That, that's one of those fuck moments like, ooh. And the golden plate armor set broke like a twig? What kind of weapon? Imagine if we got that fucking spear, bro. Wouldn't have a care in the world. Goddamn care. Bro. Bro. Amazing, isn't it? This is a spear that pierced the side of the Messiah. What a fitting end to your story. As this spear finishes you, your little in-game universe that you ruled over will also die along with you. Oh, we fucked. Oh, we messed up. This is it for you. The former god of the new world that nobody even remembers. It isn't over until it is, you doofus. Okay, I get that I can't defeat this guy with ordinary items. I have more than one weapon, you know. Perhaps that item will work. It will take my chances. Each of those weapons is a unique tier or higher with a design that I've never seen before. You're making me more curious about the game and your save data. The more you try, the more I want to take it away from you. We, okay, we need something broken to defeat this dude, bro. We need a more broken item just to defeat this man. This man is whooping our ass. And he's destroying everything we have. Piece of cake. That's spear. <laughs> sp it's the spear. It's the damn spear. But none of those were better than before. I suppose you were just using the best items in that fight just now. Are you done yet? I do like that he's having a tough time. I, I will say I do like that Ethan is struggling. The struggle amongst struggles right now. But damn, bro. Shut up. He like, yeah, that ain't gonna work either. He like, yeah, that shit ain't gonna work either. Try again, sock your ass again. Yep, just ping pong. This man got the eye of God and the spear of, oh, Jesus, I can't, I can't. <clears throat> what the hell is that? Do you only have mediocre items like that left in your inventory? But you already know the difference between you and me is too vast to overcome through sheer will alone. And with a crappy item like that, you won't even scratch me. What? What the hell? It can't move. A paralysis effect? How is this possible with a terrible weapon like that? It is a crappy item. Designed to beat the crap out of you. Thank goodness. This, this should give us a chance to whoop his ass, bro. It's ignoring the in-game rule? Please don't tell me that's a glitch item. <laughs> How does it feel to be hit by one of these? Glitch items supposedly ignore all in-game rules. I only heard about them before, but to feel this effect firsthand. And I have the highest tier immunity to status effects within the game. The damage, so it, amp oh, so it applies paralysis effect and ignores defenses? This is bad. 
What? Only one protagonist? Keep dreaming. Be humble, you weasel. He like, I'm the only protagonist around here. I'm the only protagonist. If it's going to be one, it's going to be me. Remember, if you're good, oh, if you're good at something, there's always someone better than you. You don't ever look down on people that seem inferior to you just because you know how to play. Live by human standards. <clears throat> Bravo. Well said. Couldn't have said it better myself. If you wish to call yourself human, tell someone that's so incompetent as to resort to glitch items. Be humble. <laughs> he like, didn't I just tell you to be humble? Did you really just bring the element of fairness into the argument when you were treating human lives as points to be earned and used? Give me a break. Now, I think I get the idea about the game you played. It was obviously a huge flop of a game with incompetent admins that couldn't even fix the glitches. I had high hopes because of the mysterious nature of the game, but it looks like I just wasted my time. I have no interest in playing a terrible failure of a game. I know you did not you did not call Lucid Adventure a flop. Hey man, Luce, Lucid Adventure is the most goaded game I've ever seen in my life. Ever seen in my life. From going from the actual plot of Lucid Adventure with X and Ash to everything Lucid Adventure was, man, Lucid Adventure is a dream. Lucid Adventure is a goddamn dream, bro. Pro probably the best make believe game I've ever seen in my life, bro. And it, it's crazy because we we've seen a lot of series with a lot of games, you know, that's based off a game or that is a game, and people get sucked into the game. Lucid Adventure kind of takes it a whole nother level. Just, just off of the story of Lucid Adventure alone. How dare you call Lucid Adventure a flop? So boring. I quit. Huh. What's this? A confession? Am I supposed to repent? So stop it already. I surrender, Deka. Hold up. Don't tell me. I accept. S has just given up. So the winner of this battle is Hardcore Leveling Warrior. You must hand over the reward you promised us. Right. Take your buddy back. Middle schooler. He got the reward, so the bet is over, right? Our conditions are supposed to return to normal once the PvP is over. What are you waiting for, Dakin? The PvP is finished. Stop wasting time and declare it. Dakin, you're trying to buy time for me? Dakin knew better than anyone how much of a gap there was between S and Hardcore Leveling Warrior at the moment. Somebody is impatient. In fact, S had only agreed to the PvP bet due to the curiosity of Hardcore Leveling Warrior's save data. Once the bet was officially over, the ailments on S would be lifted and S would kill Hardcore Leveling Warrior immediately to be, oh, to remain undefeated. All right, with Hardcore Leveling Warrior's victory, she wasn't supposed to ask the mediator, but they can wish to buy Hardcore Leveling Warrior some time. Perhaps it was out of agitation against S for calling Lucid Adventure terrible, or this contest is over, out of compassion towards someone she had known for a long time. He like, yep, I'm about to kill him. He like, whatever the reason, the few seconds of time they can bought ended up saving Hardcore Leveling Warrior's life. As we thank her for that, Core. Core? Why didn't you show up after I died, dude? You may rest assured now, though. Because the master is here. Oh, he got his shit bad. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, I've seen him before. Isn't he the number one ranked player? No wonder he was strong as hell. See, I told you this universe was full of incredible players. Maybe you're forgetting that I awakened my powers less than a day ago. Is that your companion? I've seen him too, but he wasn't as powerful as this before. And he just diverted the path of my holy spirit attack. He must be using similar swordsmanship skill. It doesn't matter how many enemies I face. Anything I should be aware about that guy? Nothing in particular. What do you mean? He's so outrageously powerful that none of that even matters. How does the battle... Oh, how goes the battle over there, BB? So you cleared the boss's room. Not good, though. I'm facing the first... Oh, the fist master from before, so I'm running around without engaging him. Okay, I'll take care of him. Teleport to me. Got it. 
What the? Wait, I know you. I crushed you before. I'm here for revenge. Core. Sit your ass down. Please take care of Dark. No way. BB. Now that Fistmaster is taken care of, send us back. Alright, just be careful. Make sure to keep Armis and Sora safe. You didn't even move. I thought you were going to chase after us. Why should I? You're going to come back to die anyways. But how come you have nothing on you? They were all destroyed. Hey, give me a weapon. Hurry up before I die. What? My weapon? His spirit seems to have an item destruction enchantment. You know how much this sword means to me? I'll kill you if it gets destroyed. Here. Thanks. He's like, you're going to give me something, goddammit. I ain't about to just fight with nothing. You're going to give me something. Double Lacerate. Unfortunately, even if Double Lacerate hit, it ain't going to kill him no 12 times. They're good. My Holy Spirit destroys items upon the slightest of contact. But they paired it off with the sword aura alone. And the timing has to be absolutely perfect for them to pair my attack together. That's no effect of skills or items, that's pure physical ability and chemistry. Boy, they are tired of shit, and he is like. Y'all ready for this ass whooping, man? <laughs> he just sitting there like, y'all ready for this ass whooping? I can go all day. Y'all over there looking all tired and shit. I've never felt like this before. I have a clear advantage in terms of items and stats. But why am I getting the feeling that I'm at a disadvantage? They are not bad by any means. I will be defeated if I don't go all out. I command in the name of Darkest. Breathe again within the shades of darkness. Oh, God damn it. You who are bound by dark magic. Oh, lovely. This is this is lovely. This is just beautiful. Nameless Spearman, triple S level monster created by S, hybrid creature of the dark magic, the ultimate war machine crafted by combining corpses of souls of countless warriors. Zombie Empress, another triple S level. Hybrid creature crafted by combining the soul of Lancelot with that of the zombie dragon. And Hyper Muscle Golem, a chimeric beast crafted by combining physical bodies of various boss monsters. And Fairy Shapeshooter, I mean Sharpshooter, I said Shapeshooter, disregard that. Um, the deadliest archer crafted by combining souls of 100 elves. This isn't good. It was already having a tough time against the guy, but each of these summoned creatures seems to have higher stats than me. I must, oh, I must be precise with each swing of my sword and each step of my foot. One mistake and it'll be all over. Yes, it will. And it's a ranged attacker? That was close, but what's next? It's a huge, but fast. I can probably slice this creature with lacerate, but there's a temporary delay that follows the move. Others are surely going to take advantage of it in an attack. You gotta use it. You gotta use it. Hawker and Leavenworth, shut up. You just take care of the rest now. Right, you have to use... Dog. Bro. Come on. Come on, fam. Use... No. He just waits his turn to save me. Are you asking me to take care of this because you think of a oh because you can't think of a better strategy? But it was an ultimate fortification skill that he could use only within a vicinity under allies' control. His conceptual magic, which he could not guarantee the successful activation of, seemed like the only choice he had there. Those who seek death shall live, and those who seek life shall die. Come on, please work. Conceptual magic. Old Oh, hopefully this works. What's this to see? Seems like a defensive type. Whose skill is it? The conceptual magic appears to be based on his personal trait. So he's a hero type. But this little space is devouring mana like there's no tomorrow. Thank goodness it worked. 
that'll keep him at bay for a short while since his mana is depleted. But I, oh, but I know I can't defeat him with this skill alone. He's a top ranked player. I'm sure he'll come up with a way to negate it shortly. Even Uldemar is only just enough to buy us a little bit of time. Apparently not enough time. Apparently it didn't buy us enough time. It resisted the effect? Oh my gosh, bro. This, this is tough. What? Jeez. Help us. So this monster was an aquatic beast. If only I had a little more strength. Where are we? Underwater? I don't feel the pressure at all. Instead, it's rather warm and cozy in here. Light. Someone is approaching. Armis, it's your turn. Come again and say what? To put the wind in your sails. And I'm gonna have to wait. Oh my god. Well, I guess the good thing about this, um, just like I said on the X and Ash video, <laughs> we're gonna have four chapters, Lord Jesus. Oh! Okay, so in case um, I know everybody on the channel watches certain series, nobody watches every series. But I'm gonna say this because I don't think it's gonna be here. I ain't gonna be here. But um, I'm gonna be going on vacation. So by me going on vacation, I won't be. There will be no hardcore eleven warrior. The next time around, I'm going on vacation next Saturday. Um, first vacation in ten years. Yay me. Um, so I'll be going on vacation next Saturday. So obviously that Wednesday or and Thursday there will be no hardcore eleven warrior. So yeah. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that in case you were wondering, like, yo, where's where's hardcore? It ain't gonna be there. Um, because I ain't gonna be here. But that just gives us four chapters to come back to. Four long ass chapters. <laughs> four long ass chapters that we're gonna get to come back to. But hey, it's all good though. It's all good, man. It's all good. But yeah. Oh man, doing X and Nash and Hardcore Level Warrior on the same week is it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I don't know why. But that's it for today's video, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep up with me, Twitch, Twitter, Discord links, all of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.